So here we are back in drawing colored points, right? We can draw on our canvas. If we look at our files, um, we've added one file. Here's our triangle.js file. And if we look at where we've included in our HTML, we've added this triangle.js file. And here's triangle.js. We've just taken our draw triangle function that we took from the other program and we've copied it into this location. So now the question is, can we use this in some kind of way? So let's go. Uh, just temporarily, let's go to our point function. So in our point function, when we're so in our point class, when we go to draw, we had this draw arrays, which is drawing as a point, right? It's using GL points. But we wish we could just switch this thing out and call our triangle. So we're going to call draw triangle instead of using draw arrays with, with this point. And we're going to pass in the three vertices, right? So we're going to use the x, y, zero, which is the point for the, this position. And then we're just going to offset it a little bit to get our other vertices in order to make our triangle. We're going to see how this works. So here we go. We can, we can now draw triangles into, into different positions and use triangle as a, as a paintbrush. So we're going to have to clean this up some more. We obviously don't want to be doing this inside of our draw points. So now we're going to go make an actual triangle class. Okay, here's now a triangle class, um, which I've just copied the point class and changed the name to triangle and changed the type to triangle. And otherwise kept exactly what we have. And instead of draw arrays, I'm going to call my draw triangle function. So now I have a triangle class. And then over here in colored points, just to make sure what's going on, I've changed everything from points to triangles inside a click, right? So when we get a click, instead of doing a point with a new point, uh, we're going to do, we're going to put a new triangle every time we get a click. And indeed we have, we have that working. Next, we're going to copy out a couple lines we don't need. So in our point, we were passing the data that we were going to use at a point using this vertex attrib. But remember, inside draw triangle, we were we're, we're instead using vertex attribute pointer to pass a whole array of information. So I've just commented that out because we're not using it anymore. We still need to pass the color and the size, so we're keeping that. And then down here inside of um, this draw triangle, which we got from the, um, the other program, we had some code here to get the attribute location for a position. But if you'll recall, and we need to do that, we need to get the attribute position. But if you'll recall, what the goal of that is, is to get this a position which is in our GLSL program and we've moved all that stuff to a standard place in our program rather than having it all over so over here and connecting our variables to GLSL we already have that same piece of code here and once once we've gotten this variable in a JavaScript variable we don't need to do it again so this has already been done in our program so we've, I've simply commented that out in my draw triangle program because I don't need it in this location